It's a Catholic youth group, and um, they're um, targeted um, participants for the for like a retreat, a weekend retreat, are um, the youth. Uh, but the Los Angeles-based Days with the Lord um, has targeted um, kids in college till maybe in their 20s and those who are starting who just finished college and are just starting out their whole life and music was a big part of this group um, and that's where I kind of grew you know, with the group um, I was a I was part of the choirs and uh, we did for Saturday mass um, at one of the churches <clears throat> we did first Fridays and did Stations of the Cross for also many years. But these were like activities outside of the Days with the Lord um, retreat. Retreat itself. Yeah. And um, I think us being active or um, being active participants um, during that time um, was, you know, was a blessing in our, in our life and um, just continued to, um, you know, have an impact on our spiritual growth. Uh, well, I discovered it from my high school friend, and um, he was a, uh, supposed to attend the church group or the retreat uh, with a friend, but his friend backed out, and uh, uh, he asked me kind of last minute, "Hey, do you have are you free this weekend? We're going to go through this retreat." And that was a time where I wasn't really religious, didn't really think I was a religious person, or um, I knew I was, you know, I was Catholic and baptized, but um, uh, I figured, hey, like, let's just try, see, you know, what I'll get out of this uh, retreat. And for me, uh, I got to see how many people were touched by his, I guess, his presence in their lives that I felt, you know, that's probably why I have all these blessings and why I'm here. And so, you know, it kind of made that connection. I found out about Days with the Lord through my sister. I was actually, I think, um, almost done with college when I joined. And the reason for me wanting to be part of this group was to have a personal relationship with Christ. And um, at that time of my life, I wanted some direction into how I was going to live my um, post-education um, spiritual life. I think one of the biggest benefit that I received during that time was that it strengthened my Catholic faith and my personal relationship with Christ. That experience um, benefits me now um, because um, by how I think we live our faith, um, we both came from that same group. We met each other through that group. We were friends and um, that experience is, was a, is a big part of who we are as a couple and who we are as people and how we want our children to grow in the same faith that we, we have. I met my wife through the group. Um, I've made some really close friends uh, through the group, uh, lifelong friends. Um, I've lost some friends too, I mean, just because <clears throat> it is a young adult group and we, I think, stayed there uh, for uh, a good late part of our 20s to maybe the middles of our, of our 30s. I think in any institution or in any group there would always be room for improvement and one of the things that I remember is that um, there were times where we didn't really have more of an adult um, spiritual director to guide us and um, to guide us and uh, keep up with the changing of the times um, to see how 
you know, how Days with the Lord would further be relevant in the lives of young young adults now versus, you know, what we used to do way back when. And like we said earlier, you know, we spent a part of our a decade or more of our young life, you know, serving this community, serving, being a part of this group. And, you know, you, there's there needs to be uh, room to grow. And I think we needed, you know, like guidance in that aspect. Would I recommend this program for young adults who've graduated from college? Definitely. I think um, when we step out of college, that's when your adult self, you know, you have a lot of questions. You're not, you know, you're on your own. Um, you're not in the confines of your college. There's no counselor to talk to in making big decisions and um, where you want your life to go. And uh, I truly believe that your faith is a big part of who you are and who you want to be in life. And um, that's the benefit of being, um, of having that experience with this group. I would definitely recommend um, uh, uh, a retreat or a group like that because it captures kind of a niche of um, between like after life teen or you know young the young kind of youth church or youth groups um, you know you do graduate from college or you just graduated high school and you're trying to find kind of a social um, a, a, a social group or trying to belong to somebody or, or to something. Uh, being part of something kind of bigger than yourself, um, so that that retreat and that group kind of really, um, for some people, can really, um, if you want to meet uh, like-minded people, uh, faith-loving people, uh, highly recommend um, attending like a young adult group or retreat. Uh, it would be beneficial. For you. Thank you.